they're asking us to open this portal as embodied ones to stream, star stream the the new the new way, which is the ancient way for the uh, embodied ones, the new embodied ones to come in without the codes of distortion. And we've done this work before in one sense. And the template is certainly anchored, and but the this is like the the key that unlocks everything. And the acceleration of souls leaving the their embodied state is upon us now. That it's not through the cycles of war. It's warfare, military interventions, it's through um, environmental warfare on our personhood that we're going to be witnessing, we are witnessing many people through disease, that are not able to withstand both the frequencies, impulses that are coming from the, the sun, the central sun, and also uh, the environmental manipulation of our food sources. Um, and the, the way that pesticides are being introduced to our food. That the weakest among us can't are not able to withstand uh, that. And there's a proliferation of organized population control going on right now. And in the quiet of the moment, we're to bring in the, open up the, I'm going to say the information wave form that will help to guide us to bring these free energy solutions the way that we spoke about it the other day is that we're to have no fear. This is not about fear or unity consciousness or creating a new harmonic. This is putting the mechanics in place uh, for uh, moving, moving an ascended humanity uh, forward for the blossoming of a new humanity and providing the the way, the support and the guidance to do that and so there are star keepers gatekeepers we're actually calling the gatekeepers forward though those are the individuals uh, that need to hear or receive the the streaming and it doesn't take a lot of people to do this work, but it does take people that are not phased by distortion and that really have a clear understanding of who they are in terms of their, their role on the, um, on the planet as a stargate, both a stargate opener and a gatekeeper. In other words, individuals who have a high degree of discernment. And again, this has nothing at all to do with fear or no fear. This has simply to do with knowing who you are. Knowing who you are and what's yours to do. And by way of appearances, it's just simply sitting deep in the stillness and receiving without needing to understand in the in the present moment. 
it's like entering into alternate realities, alternate probabilities, like a seer who sees probabilities, but you allow the probabilities to uh, just simply pass you by so that we are, I'm going to say, shifting the probability by the fact that we witness those those probabilities without getting attached to the outcome of what that that might be and keep streaming until we have reached the zero point of what's possible and so it's a way to fast track through these distortion fields that have caused a sort of like a, a build-up in our current world, our physical world, and to clear, clear them out of the grid system. And they, these ancient ones need very clear, energetic, embodied ones that are, that are fear, who are fearless, or who are not phased by what we see even if it gets up in our face and starts messing with our emotional body, we won't be phased. And they're showing me that that is the time of great preparation. And so we have to recognize that we are both human because we have that DNA in us. And so this is a calling to not only experience the flushing of the grid through our humanness, but to also to be so deeply still inside that we bring in through our embodied state. If we can bring it in through our embodied state, we can shift the probabilities. And they're saying they don't they don't care if humanity blows itself up. What they care about is the planet. This is a living, breathing um, organism that we have the privilege of enjoying and honoring. And they're saying that nuclear holocaust is not an option. It's just not an option. That the species has its will, its own will, but uh, destroying the planet with this infusion of argon energy is not is not an option. And so the last of the last of that species is being neutralized and this this work is to bring in the highest possible outcome for this phase of the transition and the ascension for for and in support of humanity and so we're going to be receiving prophetic uh, leanings, both visual feeling, and yet we're, we're just simply to stream it, stream it through us with no attachment to outcome. In other words, we can't have any of our yearning, human way that we yearn in the mix of this. That's why they keep showing me that we're to be very still and present, um, embedded in nature, because nature is very much in balance, regardless of what it might look like. And so being in a nice house is wonderful, but it's the stillness of being on the land and being surrounded and immersed in nature, that's the most important thing.